56-year-old Vasil Mihovka spent three years waiting for a heart transplant. His heart was three times bigger than normal and functioned poorly. This put his life at risk. When he learned that his surgery will be performed in Ukraine, he didn't believe in it at first. It was a dream. My support team came in and my children cried and said, you won the jackpot. The donor was found in the Vilin region. The 46-year-old man suffered a lethal head injury and his sister agreed to donating his heart. However, it was impossible to transport him to Kiev. So Vasil, accompanied by specialists from the Ukraine Heart Institute, headed to Koval. Boris Todorov, the head of the institute and one of the best cardiosurgeons in the country, was there to perform the operation, which hasn't been done in Ukraine for 15 years. I was thinking it through all night, one stage after another, not to miss anything. This is the Koval Central District Hospital. For the first time in 20 years, it received a license for heart transplantation. I'm happy for Ukraine, that it's becoming a modern European country. I want people to live in comfort and not to be bedridden. After a transplant, they have the chance to see the world and to live life to the fullest. Until 2019, transplants were only allowed in Ukraine if the donor was a living relative, as in kidney donation. Surgery abroad is too expensive for many. In December, however, the Ukrainian parliament allowed transplants from deceased donors. Three operating rooms at the Koval Hospital were busy all at the same time. In the first one, surgeons removed the donor's heart. In the second and third, Vasil and another patient, Natalia Yasinchuk, were prepared for their operations. Natalia will receive a kidney from the same donor. The second kidney will be sent to Kiev to the National Institute of Surgery and Transplantation. Now, Boris Todorov is processing the donor's heart so that it will adapt to the tissue of the new patient after the most complicated stage begins. Several layers of important tissues need to be laid onto the organ, and then the result of the whole surgery will depend on it. The surgery lasted several hours. At first, the transplanted heart beats with the help of artificial blood circulation. We have just finished suturing the donor's heart. It is now contracting. We haven't warmed the patient yet. He's currently at 34 degrees. For two and a half hours, his heart wasn't circulating blood, so it's necessary to circulate his blood artificially for the surgery to work. After several hours, when the heart started beating on its own, the surgery was considered complete. Boris Todorov says that the new heart adapted without complications. In the morning, Vasil's family came to visit him. I want to thank the relatives of the person who gave me a second life. I want to help them. I will be grateful to them my whole life. Reported by Olha Mihailuk for UATV.